Dear God, I think this is the cringiest moment in my entire YouTube career. Wow, this is embarrassing. 343 in celebration of Juneteenth, which if you don't know is the uh, basically commoderate the emancipation of enslaved people in the U.S., has posted an emblem and named it after a monkey. Since then, it's been fixed. However, what the hell? Also, we're going to be talking about the draw pot update that was not only underwhelming, but seems to have maybe made things worse in some respect. Also, kind of a miss on this explanation of this event. They posted a massive essay on Waypoint instead of some kind of comic or interactive video or some kind of thing on the game. Instead, another essay on Waypoint. Kind of just lost potential there. Prices are increasing on the store. It seems that Halo Infinite in its development has reached a peak and is now going back to December times. Prices are starting to increase again and 343 actually responds to all of this, by the way. We got Unishek and Sketch out here uh, basically doing the PR work, trying to put out the fire here, but boy, this is very interesting. And also, awful skins, all right? These are the ugliest skins I've ever seen in any of the Halo games, and dear God, why? It's like they're not even trying anymore. It's like we're being trolled, you guys. So let's start with the Juneteenth disaster. Okay, so Sean W. pointed this out, and Unishek said... Well, thank you for bringing this to our attention, Sean. We strive to create diverse and inclusive gaming communities. While the original name refers to an internal tool set, it was not intended to be applied to this content, and we recognize the harm it may have caused. The palette was incorrectly named, and we immediately renamed it via an update. So, yes, to recap, Juneteenth is about the freedom of enslaved people in the U.S., and... This emblem was supposed to be a good thing. It was supposed to, you know, include people into the game, make them feel included and respected and so on. However, I wonder how out of all the tool sets, the hundreds of tool sets in 343's, you know, computers and everything, why was this name specifically picked for it? I feel like it was just a weird, 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 unfortunate coincidence. I mean, at best, 343 is not paying attention enough and it's just a really weird thing to have happen, right? I mean, am I crazy for saying this? I know that it was an accident, but like, it's like, what in the hell? How the freaking hell did that happen? And I, I just feel bad for anyone that took offense to this. And I, I'm, I just, I feel bad, man. It's just awkward and it's embarrassing and it makes me cringe. And I, I don't know what they can do to make it better. They fixed it almost immediately, but still. Wow. Oh my God. So the most interesting thing about this incident is that how fast 343 actually fixed this. It's like, despite the UI limitations, despite all the slow updates and them not fixing things, even from Heroes of Reach, I think Georgia's shoulder plate is still untextured, how fast they can fix this within minutes. So very perplexing and very mind-blowing that this happened in the first place. And Boy, 343, I don't know how much more Halo can handle at this point. I mean, this is just such a blunder, and it's embarrassing. I know it wasn't on purpose, but by golly, this is just unfortunate, right? Unfortunate for everyone. Moving on, we're going to be talking about the armor increases of prices. So Josh Halo memes actually said this, 343 is literally increasing the prices on armor bundles back to $20 as each week goes by. We went from $1,200 credits to $1,700 credits within two months. And this all comes shortly after Jerry left 343 a couple weeks ago. Right. The head of design just left too, which does not make any of this feel any better, right? Halo Plasma posting said, imagine saying this is appro appropriately valued. Yeah. Uh, Late Night Gaming chimed in. He said, what is going on over there? Is this a mistake or something? Can we get some clarification on why prices are going up? I thought the plan was low uh, to lower them. Sketch, one of the community managers, came out and said, as far as I know, this week is higher due to quantity and rarity of items in the bundle. Not sure what that means. Not a universal price hike. Seems like this doesn't meet expectations for many, and is part of the team's experimenting and learning. Note that much of the shop feedback will take more time to implement. So this is not directed at Sketch at all, but I don't like the wording here at all. 
really. I, I think that quantity and rarity is a disingenuous thing to say in this situation because it's literally microtransactions. You can't earn this stuff in some kind of loot box or rec system. The rarity is literally a color that you put in the in the background. I mean, that what does what does rarity mean in a game like this? Nothing is rare. It's just how long it's on the store. Is that what qu quantity and rarity seems like such an out of place comment for this? Not a universal price hike. So what 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 even counts as universal? These are such meta terms. Like I don't understand any of this. It seems like this doesn't meet. Yeah, of course it doesn't meet expectations. These these are not appropriately valued. Paying seventeen dollars for event armor does not make sense to me. Or I guess it's not event armor, but it's like I just it seems like such a money grab, and I don't understand why they're why they're so doubling down on this. I mean, we've already been through this. We we are already we ruined Halo over this and they're doing it again. Now that everyone's kind of chippered down and calmed down a little bit about the prices, they're trying to slowly boil the frog. On honestly, and and so this this user said, admittedly, I'm a bit confused by this. The quantity is the same as past bundles that have sold for lower. Has rarity been clarified in terms of what it means for Halo Infinite's items? I typically associate rarity with RNG, which Infinite doesn't utilize for its gear. Okay, so <laughs> excellent points. I hope this doesn't read as too critical. I do want to understand what the rationale is for the store, especially since everyone has an opinion on it. I really think more positive reception would come from testing pro-consumer changes as opposed to higher priced items. Absolutely. I mean, there has been a lot of feedback about the store and raising prices is not one of them. This isn't there. I mean, this is essentially, and I'm not saying this to sketch or anyone specific. I'm just saying 343 as a marketing plan is, is, is this is awful. I mean, this is just really in disingenuous comments and there's no way you can really defend this, that there are just increasing prices over what a color in the background. I mean, there's, there's, and so Sketch replied, he says, not critical to me at all, clearly a very top of mind topic for a lot of people. I don't claim to have the answers, but I'd love to see if we can dig more into the questions for the team to provide more context. And he also said this, definitely fair feedback in my opinion. I'm not here to justify either way, just explaining how the model currently works. Player feedback and more importantly, player actions is how the team continues to learn and involve. And how that really feels and translates is that, look, you're going to need to keep complaining and screaming from the rooftop if you want anything to change constantly. Or we're just going to go keep kind of crawling back to December until we get to a sweet spot where people are still buying this stuff and there is an outcry about it because that's certainly how it feels like, right? Because they keep making these decisions. And Sketch also said this, that's fair on semantics. I believe there is a perceived value applied to rarity tiers based on quality, scope, and etc. of the item. But yes, clearly subjective on a per item per player basis. And so that last comment there is kind of perplexing, you know, obviously perceived value is applied on items of quality, scope, etc. of the item, probably how much time they spent working on that model and set of items. But ultimately, I think it's just they're using FOMO. I think they're weaponizing FOMO exactly like how they said they wouldn't. And here we go. Here we go. We're, we're backtracking because this armor looks a little bit maybe what they thought would be cooler. I think it looks pretty dumb, honestly, and it doesn't, I guess it's supposed to be a fallout thing, but still, like, I, I don't think no skins or armor should be $17. And honestly, it's a little bit annoying that they are willing to put these these armors up when the game's broken, when they're still desync. Like, if I worked at 343, my, my game plan would be like, okay, guys, let's finish the seasons, let's get the base game modes out, let's get desynced fixed, let's polish the game, keep prices low, not asking for too much from them, and then when we when we finish the game, let's bring those prices up, right? That's when we make our money. But they are asking for a lot of money for a game that has missed every single expectation and has been broken since launch.
they are asking for more money on a single skin than they have entire map packs, entire things of value than they have ever in the past before, than Bungie has ever asked for in the past. This is the smallest amount of value they have ever given us and are asking for the most amount of money while saying they are continuing to learn and evolve. Like I'm starting to get triggered by anything that sounds like that statement because it sounds like how much learning do you need to know that $17 is not an appropriate amount of money for armor right now why don't we be a little bit more like rational with it because i don't think to most people this is a appropriately valued and i feel like wells are buying these and people that maybe shouldn't be buying it probably can't super afford it but are doing it because of fomo right and uh that doesn't that doesn't inspire me to play the game anymore it's just uh it's it's anti-consumer it's anti-gamer and also gotta say that these skins are also horrible they are horrendous. They are ugly. They are stupid. It looks like the game is broken. I feel like I feel like I'm being trolled right now, honestly, when I look at these skins. I want to vomit. I want to just throw up because honestly, it looks like they gave up on Halo. There has been a lot of things that have made me pretty pissed off about Halo Infinite the past six, seven months. It's been hard to make videos about the game sometimes. But like, what the freaking hell is this? These are stupid stupid skins what are they doing like these these skins literally took like three seconds to make and now they're they're selling it to people for for four five six seven dollars and they look like garbage poo poo I, I i just oh my gosh so anyways that's pretty much my rant for today guys i th we could talk about the drop pod and it being underwhelming for starters but also probably bringing in some issues like longer load times. I can't quite confirm that, however, so I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot. But, yes, pretty rough day for Halo fans. And, uh, yeah, you guys let me know your own thoughts about this. But it looks like Halo Infinite is slowly taking a step back and increasing prices once again based on rarity. And I say that with uh, quotes. Okay, what is rarity? There's no clear understanding of what rarity even means on a game like this. So, I mean, it sounds, it feels like they're weaponizing FOMO, right? I, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm perceiving this wrong. Maybe I just don't get it. But I would say that's because I haven't really been fully given any kind of context as to what system they are working on. And honestly, rarity, whatever the fuck that means, because there's no real clear understanding of what rarity even means. And I'm not mad at any specific person at 343. I'm just mad at the, like, the, all these decisions being made right it's just so weird so weird but anyways rant's over guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content be sure to smash that like button blue and uh i'll catch you in the next one soon all right you take care peace